Hello everyone, this is part two of my Civilization VI playthrough. Uh, last time I uh, got through uh, 74 turns, I think it was. Uh, and that uh, that's getting my Civilization moving along. Uh, the game is uh, currently loading here. As you can see, I rolled uh, a Victoria of uh, the English Empire. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember exactly what was going on uh, when I uh, shut the game uh, game down uh, last time, uh, but it should be fairly obvious once it finishes loading here. Uh, this is something about Civilization VI that I, I wish they could uh, do something uh, about and that's the uh, really slow loading times both for the program itself and the games uh, it, it would be interesting to know just exactly what uh, what the reason for that slowness is so uh, okay so I'm at war with Egypt uh, who is way over there and I'm at war with America, who's over there. Um, and I've got barbarians there. Um, okay, so the war is not that big of an issue. I took out a bunch of uh, Egyptian uh, units over here. So, uh, and I'm building walls in, in all my cities here. And that gets me to the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, ranged attack for the cities. Uh, right, I'm also trying to get rid of these barbarians. So um, that's what uh, what I'm working on over there. So I think I want to drop a city right around here. Um, that's in range of a mountain here for uh, uh, an aqueduct. So that would be uh, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, okay. Egypt wants peace. Um, uh, that looks reasonable, so I'll take that. Um, I don't really want to uh, fight a big war here. It's uh, disadvantageous uh, with this terrain I've got between me and my uh, potential enemies. Uh, it would be uh, seriously uh, annoying to move my troops around. Um, right, uh, I've got... Uh, in a, a promotion for uh, the archer. Uh, now I'm going to go for that one. None of those promotions were particularly useful for my play style, so uh, just taking the promotion is is a good idea, anyways. Um, getting up to the top level actually is is what you want to do, so you can go up either side of it all the way up. Uh, right, what uh, what have I got here? This is uh, London, so I've got a builder. Uh, right, I'm going to build my uh, uh, religious uh, buildings there. Uh, okay, here. Uh, yeah, I want to get my uh, uh, production up as well. Um Okay, now what was the... Oh, right, I was going to uh, improve the uh, whales there. Uh, that should deal with this. Um, right. Okay. Uh, actually, something I want to check. Okay, no war weariness, so... Uh, so, lack of war weariness... That's kind of good. I uh, usually don't accumulate all that much if you're fighting a defensive war. So when you go on the attack, it can get pretty nasty. Uh, right. Uh, right, I want drama and poetry because uh, I want to be able to build uh, uh, theater uh, districts there. Right, so I'm going to move this, this guy out here. Uh, so... Uh, even though uh, it looks like I think Egypt took out the barbarians over here. 
I can't remember. Maybe I did. Um, but anyway, uh, somebody took out the barbarians here. I'm going to leave units over here kind of as a defense at this, this gap here and also as a fog buster. Uh, uh, fog busting basically means like a barbarian camp won't spawn in a place where you have visibility. So uh, bar a camp that exists will spawn barbarians, but... Uh, but a barbarian camp itself won't spawn where you can see. Uh, and uh, that's actually uh, a, a useful thing to, uh, to deal with. Because then you can park units and you won't have barbarians popping up there. Um, so this is where I want to put my uh, city when I uh, get around to building that settler. Okay, so I've got my walls there. Um, I probably should get a builder out and go and improve that uh, marble. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to keep this guy around here to improve stuff around the capital. As you can see, that uh, amenity sign has gone away there. Uh, so I'm good for a little bit there. So I'm going to park the archer there. I'm going to move this guy over here and see what's over there. Um, that looks like a city-state. Um, okay, so uh, that'll be good to, uh, to, to, to uh, look into. Okay, so that's the shrine. Um, now, I really uh, should... Uh, you know, what, what should I do here? Well... Campus would be a good idea for research, uh, and these mountains here make that uh, a really good uh, location. Actually, huh? Well, this is going to be annoying to protect with spies. Um, you know what? I'm going to put it right there. The mountains will protect it on uh, three sides there, so uh, it's uh, a pretty good spot. So I'm just going to park that uh, archer, and I'm going to move over here. And yes, it is in fact a city-state, and nobody else has met them, so that's uh, that's kind of interesting. I wonder if they're hemmed in by mountains. Um, but that also means that I have less to worry about for an attack coming through the gap there. Uh, this is actually a good start. Uh, yeah, we'll take the friendship. Uh, this is actually a good start for a relatively peaceful game. You know, I have a city-state here, which uh, uh, will uh, generally block uh, ex expansionist civilizations coming in that way. So, uh, right. Uh, let's see. Uh, do I go for engineering or currency? Uh, I'm going for currency. Uh, at some point, uh, gold is going to be a significant issue, so uh, I definitely need to uh, deal with that. Oh, I should uh, acquire this tile here and uh, improve it as well. Uh, but first, I'm going to improve the sheep there. Uh, right. You know what? I'm going to... Okay, yeah, so there's mountains there. Uh, so nobody's coming up that way. Uh, so I'm going to explore a little bit around... Uh, I don't know how you pronounce that. Armach or something? Uh, so I'm going to explore around there and uh, see what's doing. Uh, okay, so that's walls there. Uh, so I'm building the water mills because they give production and, uh, you know, you really want to uh, keep your production up. So I'm going to bring that over there. I'm going to take a look here. That's not the next tile to acquire, so I'm just going to buy it so I have it. Uh, so I'm going to go around here and see what I can see around the uh, city-state here. Um... Yeah, it looks like mountains might be keeping them uh, safe. So if they're uh, safe from everybody, uh, I'm not likely to end up at war with them. Okay, so I've got uh, drama and poetry. I'm going to go for theology now so I can build a temple. 
and that'll allow me to pick up um, uh, apostles, uh, which I can use to potentially expand my religion. And I see we found Yosemite, uh, a natural wonder. Uh, right. Uh, so that's uh, that's nice. Uh, right. Uh, okay, construction. Uh, right, okay. Uh, let's see, okay, so that's, uh, okay, I'm gonna do the water mill there as well. And going for a granary here. As I want to, uh, since I'm, I'm going relatively peaceful, I'm not gonna end up with a large number of, uh, of uh, particularly large number of cities, I definitely want to uh, uh, to get at least some population going there. And with uh, the uh, truffles, uh, marble, uh, whales, uh, and uh, jade, I'm actually uh, pretty good with uh, the four cities I've got. That's four amenity points for each one, theoretically. Uh, I think it's four per uh, uh, per um, uh, luxury, anyway. Okay, so I've got currency. Um, celestial navigation would be a good idea. So would shipbuilding. But I'm going to go for engineering first for catapults. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, uh, improve the uh, iron. And that should allow me to upgrade my uh, some of my warriors at least. Uh, well, when I have enough gold, anyway. Aha! So there's not much out up here. Uh, it's just coast and tundra. So, so I don't think I have to worry too much about somebody strolling in and settling up there. Uh, this is still a good spot, though well defended from the land side uh, so apparently I can purchase a missionary if I want um, right so in London uh, so I've got my uh, campus uh, I'm gonna build the water mill and uh, granary there as well uh, so I'll improve the marble uh, so I'll move this guy up here I should have gone over and collect that, but I'm going to come back over there and look down there anyway. Um, and there's another one of those things over there, too. So definitely nobody's been wandering around up here. Maybe somebody's uh, rode by on a boat, but uh, definitely not uh, on land. Um, right. So maybe I should try making peace with the Americans at this point. Um, okay, so defensive tactics... Uh, let's take a look at the civics tree here. Uh, okay, uh, if you're going re relatively peaceful, uh, ex exploration for Merchant Republic is a good uh, good spot to uh, aim for. Uh, that gets you uh, 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 it gets you a, a two extra trade routes, uh, which can be uh, useful. Uh, right. Uh, so this one's faith. Uh, I'm gonna pop up. Uh, I want to get up to six on here anyway, because then when I build my industrial zones, I'll uh, uh, I'll have much uh, better uh, production. Um, actually, what I'm gonna look at here is can we make peace? Yes, he'll take straight across peace. That's good. Um, right. So, yeah, he's frowny, but uh, that's okay. Uh, now I don't have to worry about uh, attacks from anybody uh, so much at the moment. Uh, right, now what to uh, improve here? I think I'll go for the wheat. Uh, okay, moving over here. Well, that'll catch next turn. C 
culture bomb, huh? What did they steal? What did they steal? Nothing critical by the look of it. I still kept my marbles, so that's good. Uh, it must have been this tile. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm going to send the trade route up into here. That'll get me a road across here and uh, an envoy there. Uh, you know, having a road across here will be really helpful. Like, it's all hills, right? Uh, I think that was just gold that I got there. Uh, let's see. And I'll go for that last wheat there. Uh, okay, so that opens that up. Yeah, there's not much up here, except Yosemite. Uh, so I'll move over here, and then I'll come take a look down here. But I suspect these mountains go all the way around here. Otherwise, uh, I think Egypt would have been through there. Uh, yeah, we'll take the delegation. Uh, right. Oh, really? Uh, good, f good for you. Um, right. Uh, so I'm going to put up my temple here. Uh, let's see. Now, what does this do? Gives two iron. Uh, extra faith. Uh, is that worth it? I don't think so. Uh, what to build here? I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna build a commercial, uh, commercial hub here. And I guess I'll put it up on the uh, desert hills there. Uh, okay, now I'm going to send this guy over here to collect that uh, uh, tribal village. Oh, somebody got... Okay, right. So I'll uh, do the wheat there as well. And <clears throat> that's a lot of wheat in range of one city. Uh, okay, somebody's built uh, that wonder. Uh, oh, Mount Everest. That's a lot of natural wonders that are close by. Anyway. Uh, okay, machinery is probably be a good one to go for. But let's see. I think I'll go for Celestial Navigation because then I'll be able to build a... Uh, harbor in London. Okay, here I've got my water mill. Uh, what to build here? I think I'm going to build an encampment, actually, because I'm expecting I'll probably get another attack from uh, uh, Poland. Uh, so I'll... Uh, I'm going to build it where? I don't know if I buy this, I can see some stuff here. No, I'm going to build it there. Okay, and I can send me an envoy. Uh, right, what's the suzerain bonus here? Oh, right, yes, that's the uh, the good one. Anyway, moving along. Okay, so that's a water mill there, put the granary. So I'm doing this to uh, get my base uh, infrastructure uh, built up in the cities. So I want them to grow to a certain point so I can build districts. Uh, the actual 
uh, what? Oh, uh, I got faith from the uh, village, I think. Uh, the actual uh, goal of the developers was apparently to uh, uh, make it... Uh, uh, so you have to specialize your cities and there is an element of that but uh, I don't think it's quite so uh, crucial as uh, as they uh, like to think okay so yeah we've got coast here and and mountains all the way up to the coast so yeah that's why they were uh, left on their own uh, so they yeah, they won't meet anybody that doesn't come along on a ship uh, and it's still early days for that Okay, now, horseback riding... Well, that might be okay. I'm going shipbuilding first, uh, as I'm clearly hemmed in otherwise, so I'm, I'm actually going to send the warrior back here. Um, right, okay. So we're going to... We have a road through the gap there. Uh, what do we call that? Armach Gap? Something like that. Um, yeah, this one complaining because I don't have a whole bunch of infrastructure built. Uh, you know, apparently that's what Nubia likes is infrastructure, uh, which is fine. I said, what's this? Someone's building the Oracle. Uh, right. Okay. So. I'm going to try for that one. I've got good production in London, and uh, I think uh, I'll uh, try for that one. The two apostles uh, from that would be really nice. Uh, right. Uh, what to do here? Uh, this would be a good one to build. This spot here, I think, would be good for a campus. It would. Uh, so would this one, but I want to keep the sheep. So I'll build the campus there. Uh, if I can out-tech the uh, others, uh, I have a good chance of winning a science victory, the space race. Uh, so I'm going to try for out-teching everybody, and that requires building the... Uh, uh, campuses and, and so on. Uh, right. Uh, so we've got a road through there. When I plop a city there, that'll make transport good. Uh, next trade route from London I'll send here, I think. Uh, and that will make it a lot easier to move my troops. And from London it'll probably come through this way. But it might come... It's hard to say which route it's going to take. It might come around this way. It doesn't really matter which way it, it chooses to go. It's fine uh, however it wants to go. I'm going to park the warrior down over here. Uh, there's room for a city or two over here as well. So uh, that's probably what I'll do. Uh... When this is done, I'll probably go for a couple of settlers. And this could end up being done either by uh, somebody else building it or, or I finish it. Uh, progress in military training. Math. Uh, I can build a uh, trade route, so I'll, I might want to do that too. Uh, so I get an Envoy at Buenos Aires. Uh, okay. Uh, an envoy there, yeah. Um, right. So uh, I'm gonna build the uh, the uh, defensive buildings there. Uh, as I think that's where I'm going to see any attacks coming from mostly. Uh, so I've got a uh, commercial hub. I'm gonna build the market there. Uh, I'm doing that so that my gold situation doesn't become critical if I end up having to go to war. 
uh, I've got enough gold that I can upgrade uh, a couple of these uh, uh, warriors as well. So uh, there's one, there's two. Uh, by doing that, by keeping my units upgraded, I uh, uh, it looks stronger and it's less likely somebody's going to declare war. Uh, and if you can get past the early game, uh, and we're just about through the uh, early game here, uh, if you can get past that without uh, uh, too much uh, uh, trouble with war, uh, you can do quite well uh, with the uh, rest of the game. Uh, a few more turns, I can upgrade this warrior as well. Uh, Stirrups, huh? Okay. Religious conversion. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that, if, it, if the microphone's picking it up, but uh, there's a pretty good windstorm going on outside. Uh, no, open borders is not worth one gold. Uh, refuse deal. Uh, you know, there's actually a wind warning uh, while I'm uh, recording this uh, place, uh, you know, 100 Ks from here, 150 Ks from here, they're forecasting Hurricane Force wind, uh, which is uh, pretty uh, frightening. Uh, okay, construction. Well, okay, I'm going to go apprenticeship because I need those industrial zones. Uh, so I'm going to park that guy. Oh, I want to get a uh, city down this way so I can get tobacco as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and so I definitely want to, uh, to build a, uh, settler here, uh, real soon now. Uh... Okay, Oracle over here is finished. Uh, okay, what have we got here? Um, right. Uh, I'm going for a theater square. Uh, just so that I my culture doesn't fall too far behind as well. Uh, it's uh, you know it's important that you don't fall behind on on uh, everything. Uh, an envoy here, so I got six here. Uh, I'm gonna round out to suzerain status there, as that gets me uh, to see what's around here. And yes, that's a lot of mountains there. Uh, that's actually not the best place in the world that uh, a city could be, but you know it's got some decent fertile land around it. Uh, I could potentially drop a city actually here uh, or here uh, and uh, not conflict too much as well. Uh, right. Actually, up here is good because there's a couple of good sea, there's sea resources there and the sheep. Anyway, uh, so another envoy. What does this, this give me? Uh... Monastery improvements, okay. Um, okay, so that's extra faith. This one is extra culture, so I'm going to uh, go for that. Uh, right, so... Uh, now, I said I was going... Oh, yeah, it's going to come down through here. Okay. So, yeah. I'll uh, make the uh, uh, trade route to uh, Bristol there. Uh, and I think that deals with the worst on getting and transporting my uh, troops around. Uh, oh, hopefully I get this. Uh, I could get sniped in, in the next two turns here. Uh, recorded history got boosted. Uh, okay, now. Uh, so that's apprenticeship. Uh, machinery, I definitely want the uh, upgraded archery unit. 
Uh, what have I got here? Uh, pyramids. Huh. Pyramids are worth a shot, actually. Pyramids are definitely worth a shot because it gives you more charges for your builders. Uh, now here... Uh, I'm going for the library first. Okay, here's fingers crossed, all the, you know, every which way. Uh, do I get the uh, wonder? And I do. Okay, so that's two um, apostles. They have uh, uh, the um, uh, promotions, but what I'm going to do, I'm, first I'm going to evangelize uh, a belief. Um, now, I'm going to build the library. Now, what have I got? It's wide open here still pretty much. So... Uh, is the Gurdwara the right one there for a building? That's a, that's a question. Okay, so so I can get one of the buildings and one of these other beliefs. Uh, so uh, the buildings, cathedral. Uh, has religious art slot. Um, mosque of, yeah, that's the one, and I'll uh, evangelize again, and now I get to choose between these, so tithe wouldn't be bad, stewardship would actually be pretty decent, uh, extra science, um, so commercial hubs and campuses, you know, the extra science. Uh, this lay ministry is okay as well, depending on where you're going. Um, so, uh, tithe, you know, that's okay as long as you don't end up losing your religion for some reason. Uh, I'm going with stewardship, though, because that's gold and science. And... I am going to go in here. I'm going to buy a third apostle. And I'm going to launch an inquisition. Because inquisitors are uh, quite nice for um, uh, uh, undoing religious conversions in your territory. Uh, so, launch inquisition. Uh, and inquisitors are quite cheap. Uh, and what I'll do, once I have enough uh, faith to buy an Inquisitor, I'll buy one and park it in London. Uh, and the reason I'll do that is then uh, I'll have one ready if I get... Okay, I'm not going to get the pyramids. That's fine. Um, so I'm going to build a settler here. Uh, so, if I end up facing a carpet of uh, missionaries from uh, one of the other civilizations, uh, I'll be able to just uh, let it pass and then reconvert London if it gets converted, and then I'll have my holy city back. Uh, right, so, Reform Church. Uh, well... Oh, religious conversion happened. Okay, uh, that's uh, that's kind of cool. Happened naturally. Um, okay, in London here, I'm going to I'm going to buy or not buy build a settler because I want to fill this spot in here. Uh, oh, I forgot I can uh, upgrade this warrior here, uh, which I'm going to do. Uh, right now, before I forget. Uh, okay. Uh, now, I can go ahead and build an industrial zone. I think I'm going to do just that. Now, if I make sure it's within six tiles of London, I can get the uh, 
factory bonus into London, uh, even if I don't get the factory up in London. Now, those don't stack, as I understand it, those bonuses. But I find it's good to have several uh, industrial zones around that can reach your capital uh, so that you can, uh, if, if any of them get sabotaged or pillaged, uh, you still get that factory bonus. Okay, so I've got the library completed there. Uh, I'm going for a industrial zone here as well. Two, three, yep. yep. Okay, so I'll build that. Uh, is I, I really need to get my production up in the capital as, as much as I can uh, to make sure the uh, uh, the space projects uh, are uh, able to uh, complete. So as I said, I'm going to buy an Inquisitor. Uh, okay, so moving along. Uh, I'm going to end up uh, ending this part soon here. I want to keep these parts around 45 to 50 minutes. So, uh, yeah, this part gets annoying. Uh, escape's the fastest way to get rid of those, in case you're wondering. Uh, and I hear the wind is getting even stronger, so that's getting annoying. Uh, so, let's see. I think mathematics is what I want there. Because I want to get up to the education uh, uh, text as well. So I said I'm going to park the Inquisitor there. So if you park the Inquisitor in the city, then other religious units can't come along and uh, attack it. Uh, and uh, and that's actually uh, good, because I, I want to keep the Inquisitor. Anyway, uh, moving along, uh, I think I'll maybe get to turn 130 or so here. Uh, okay, I got a, the settler in uh, London's gonna pop this turn, uh, so I'll send it over. Uh, I shouldn't have to worry about barbarians on the way. So, okay, so yes, education is what I want next. Uh, so production here, um, I could build this here. Um, and actually, no, I'm gonna build the trader first. Uh, and then I'll send my uh, settler out here. Uh, moving along, a couple more turns, I'll get this settler and probably drop them that one over here. So I don't have to build an aqueduct because I'm looking for the access to the tobacco there. And if I have more cities, then I can send more trade routes out and uh, get more production bonus in my uh, capital. Uh, so, so that's also a benefit to building more cities. Uh, okay, so that's another uh, boost there. Uh, so two more turns, I'll be able to build this city here. One turn to move there and then one turn to build it. Hills, after all. Uh, okay, now I'm going to build uh, that building uh, because I want London to grow. Uh, okay, so I could send down there, but I'm going to send uh, this one to... Uh, I get a better production bonus going to Manchester, but I'm going to send it to Liverpool so I get the road built. Uh, the roads are definitely good to have uh, in your territory, especially when you got this rough terrain. Uh, okay. Uh, now, okay, so that's the industrial zone there. I'm going to actually build the amphitheater there. In, uh, that'll get me uh, points toward a great writer, and uh, that will be uh, useful to have if I get one. Uh, okay, so I've got my, uh, I could try for Petra, but I'm not going to. I got my settler there. Uh, I'm going to build here first an industrial zone, uh, which I'll do right here. Uh, right, and hey, it's suggesting exactly where I wanted to build the city anyway. So I'll build this city. And it's on a different continent to my uh, 
capital, so I get the the um, free unit, which is a swordsman, due to the tech level. Uh, so I'm going to take this guy, and I'm going to move him over to the encampment over there, uh, and uh, leave this guy here. I'm not expecting an attack there, but there's a policy card where you get an amenity for a garrison unit. So uh, I think that could be uh, useful to have them there. Now, uh, I'm going to uh, play this out until I uh, build this city. And then that will be the end of the part, I think. Uh, so it's uh, one more uh, turn... Yeah, so I wasn't going to get Petra anyway, so yeah, there really wasn't much point now, was there? Uh, okay, uh, so I can send an envoy. I'm going to try to build up influence here. Uh, okay, so this upcoming turn, I'll build this city. Uh, the rice resources here are kind of nice, actually. Um... And this is still easily defensible. And as long as I keep Suzerain here, the this guy will be good protection from uh, America. So here we go. Uh, right. Uh, and again, walls. So I've got an envoy there. Um, okay. Uh, right. So I can park that. Uh, so I don't want to be building too many more cities here, uh, as I'll end up running out of gold, so I definitely need to uh, start building uh, commercial uh, districts here. Uh, I'll do one more turn, and we'll get the complaint from the Americans about building too close, I think. Perhaps not. Okay, perhaps not. Uh, so production here... Um, Okay, so I'll go for a workshop. I, I want to get my keep my production levels up. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's some progress uh, this time around. I've got a couple more cities out. Uh, my capital is very well protected by land by these other cities. Uh, so I need to start getting up uh, a, a navy, uh, I think. Uh, so that will be what I start working on relatively quickly here. Uh, but I think uh, first up, I'll be building a commercial district in London because I think I have the population to do it now. Um, anyway, uh, that's going to be the end of this part. So I'm going to save the game. And uh, uh, hopefully I'll make uh, some, uh, m some good progress up the tech tree and so on uh, in the next part. It's turn 100 and uh, something here. Uh, 134 I think so uh, that's going to be uh, that's about a third of the way through the maximum turn limit uh, so I'm gonna have to start paying attention to the victory conditions a little closer but anyway uh, that's all for this part uh, I'll see see everyone back for uh, the next part part three and if you've uh, watched this far thanks for watching